good, y'all? This is JCA Reactions. I'm John, and I'm about to get into a new Death Battle video. This time it's Thor versus Raiden. Mm. I want to put my money on Raiden, but I ain't sure. I'm going to wait till the end of the video. So. But right now, I'm pick Raiden. But like always, the original video will be in the description box below. Y'all want to check that out without my commentary or whatever. I ain't going to spend too much time talking. So. Without further ado, about to get about this kind of strip from me to you. Let's get it. The gods of thunder made it their eternal rule, but in the ring together, no problem going weird though. The mighty Thor, Prince of Asgard, and Lord Raiden, defender of Earthrealm. He's with an eye booster, and it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. In Norse mythology, Thor is the god of thunder, strength, healing, and oak trees. Well, regardless, he was badass enough to get his own comic book. Or Odin's son was conceived between the Allfather and Earth's elder goddess with the intent of creating the strongest man in the universe. He can lift over a million tons, move at supersonic speeds, never feel exhaustion, survive the vacuum of space, and talk with frogs. He's immune to poison, burns, and electrocution, and he can survive the heat of the sun or even a planet bursting explosion. Well, I guess that's what happens when God invades the Earth. While Thor is not invulnerable, he is augmented by his godly status in a fraction of the all powerful Odin force sealed within Mjolnir. His enchanted. So, so in that case, why they just don't put Thor up against Superman in? I mean, if he was the god of mending fences or something, I, I want to see it. Oh, oh, shit! Never mind! Mjolnir is mystically bound to Thor and obeys him as if it were alive. And if it were any larger, it would be too heavy to wield. So it's not the size of his hammer, it's how he uses it. It was forged by dwarves using the core of a dying star, which went supernova and killed all the dinosaurs. Yeah, forget anything I said earlier. I'm liking the dinosaurs. Now, actually, no one here going on. Mjolnir can only be wielded by Probably because I just got uh, done playing God of War. Huh? Red Hulk once carried the hammer into space because Thor was still holding on to it, which may be one of the dumbest technicalities ever. But Mjolnir is not the only thing in Thor's arsenal. He wears the belt of strength, which, surprise, doubles his already powerful might. And naturally, as the god of thunder, Thor can manipulate the weather. Storms, tornadoes, the wind, he can even summon deadly bolts of lightning. He also has some control over the earth. He can make earthquakes and span entire continents. Thor has fought and defeated many of the most powerful warriors in the Marvel Universe. He's mastered enough martial arts to box Captain America to a standstill and has even overpowered the Hulk. Although, in the past, he could lose his powers when separated from his hammer. Which is pretty stupid, considering his main method of attack is throwing it's the throwing damn thing. But through some convoluted magic absurdity, this is no longer a problem. In fact, he has no specific physical weaknesses, though he does suffer from a superiority complex. Very good. And eager to fight, he often ignores even the most perceptible risks. I like him! According to Japanese court. legend, Raiden is the god of thunder and storms who, when anger, devours the stomachs of children as they sleep. Mm, child haggis, just like mom used to make. Well, whenever he had his bill of defense, I'm sure Thor will win. I'm from my mother, Thor. Raiden is the defender of Earthrealm and a key leader in shielding it from the forces of Shao Kahn's outward. He's a master of several different fighting styles and hands them up with powerful electric attacks. He sometimes wills a wooden staff, but generally prefers his fists. From the mobile kicks of Taekwondo to the anti-armor combat of Jiu-Jitsu, Raiden's wide variety of fighting styles complement each other perfectly to take down any kind of opponent. This Thunder God uses several lightning charge special attacks, like the vicinity blast, electric fly, and the shocking touch. Not mm -hmm. to mention, when finishing his foes, he discharges so much electricity into them that they combust. The sheer power of these lightning attacks apparently overload his brain, causing him to spout out random gibberish in mid-attack. <laughs> As an eternal god, Raiden is entirely composed of ethereal energy and can morph into various forms of electrical force. With this trait, he gains teleportation, flight, and unlimited endurance. And like any other thunder god, Raiden has all sorts of control over the weather and lightning. Raiden has so much power, he can even achieve scientifically impossible feats like channeling electricity. Don't remember. I'll <laughs> Take that, physics. He is one of the most powerful characters in the Mortal Kombat universe and has successfully defended Earth for centuries. He eventually became the all-powerful elder god of Earthrealm, but relinquished his power in order to protect the people of Earth. Wait, what? That doesn't make any sense. While he is an immortal, formless god, he is not indestructible and has limits. In order to 
to fight among others must take a form susceptible to mortality. But he still retains all of his godly powers, and it's tough enough to effortlessly smash through solid concrete. Through his numerous successes at defending Earth against impossible odds, Raiden has proved his greatest attribute to be his leadership and wisdom in battle. He is a cunning and daring strategist, willing to make whatever sacrifices necessary to achieve victory. Like this guy, that guy, and all of these guys. Raiden, a physical example of sacrificing others for the greater good. <laughs> they were not used it. I got my money with shotgun still. I mean, on Thor. Fight. Or maybe shit compared to Ray. I just about to say he can teleport. Damn, damn. I'm still thinking Thor gonna get him. He gotta be. Or come on. Come on, bro. Hey, you know what? They're about school what school tech need to do, they need to make an arcade uh game about version of this shit. They just put all the characters they ever done in there. If they can get the copyright stuff straight out. That'd be dope. When a star dies, it collapses into a super condensed neutron star. Even the smallest portion of this star can weigh a million tons. Raiden stood little chance against a blow like that. Well, at least Raiden finally found his place in the sun. The winner is Thor. It's a quick death battle for you. Alright, y'all, that was my reaction to Thor versus Raiden death battle. I'm doing good with these bets, bro. I told y'all Thor was gonna win. But y'all let me know in the comment section if y'all had a different mindset on who we gonna who we gonna win in the um in the outcome in the battle. Also let me know what you want or else you want me to react to, let me know in the comment section. And last but not least, if y'all like this reaction, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Till next time, peace.